All right, Crocker, lay it on me. What is the breaking news with the San Francisco 49ers and Brandon Ayuk? So here we go. Adam Schefter says there will be no trade. The 49ers and Brandon Ayuk reached an agreement today on a four-year extension that will contractually tie the wide receiver to the San Francisco 49ers for the next five seasons per ESPN sources. The drama is over and the deal, not a trade, is in place. Let's go. Um, he goes on. He goes on to say Brandon Ayuk's offseason uh, included a public trade request tweeting at Mike Tomlin, uh, posting pictures with Jay Daniels, uh, sharing a FaceTime with Daniels, saying they don't want me back, uh, getting permission to negotiate contract uh, with other teams. Uh, in the end, both sides came together and Ayuk signed a long-term deal with the San Francisco 49ers. Hey, vibes a little bit up now. I don't know if y'all heard that in my voice, but the vibes are a little up now. <laughs> the vibes have just taken a 180-degree turn. Brandon Ayuk back just in the nick of time to be able to get a week's worth, over a week's worth of practice to get on the field and get ready to play week one for the San Francisco 49ers. A four-year deal uh, worth, it's looking like, what, $120 million, Croc? So around $30 million per year on this contract. The 49ers were willing to go to 30, and uh, it has been done. Four years, $120 million contract for Brandon Ayuk with the San Francisco 49ers. Wow. It is finally done. The Brandon Ayuk saga is over and it only took until August 29th to happen. And it happened live on the air here on Locked On 49ers. A uh, $76 million guaranteed, it looks like, for Brandon Ayuk, too, which is a which is a pretty good chunk. It's not the hundred million guaranteed that uh that CD Lamb got, but 76 mil of a 120 contract is is a nice little guarantee. So Trent Williams. You're up next. Brandon Ayuk is done. That deal is done, and he will remain a San Francisco 49ers. All hugs, all good. Uh, I can't wait to hear what everybody says about it, what everybody uh, is uh, is is doing on the field when he jumps back on the field. So, um, wow, the saga is over. Brandon Ayuk back with the San Francisco 49ers. All right, now what's the line for the Monday night football game against the New York Jets, Croc? I, I think it's a true three and a half in favor of the Niners. A true three and a half. I feel much better. My vibes, I'm not going to lie. I, You know, we've been talking about this and stuff, and I, I've been a little... <sighs> but I will say this. Let's see how people's tune changes towards Brandon Ayu. See, my tune towards him never changed. It's, hey, I want him with the 49ers. There have been a lot of people that have been on the other side Oh, just let him go. He's a diva. He's this. He's that. And now, what are those same people doing? They're they got the same smile on their face that I have. I guess now the only thing is Trent Williams. I hold on. I love this report from Diana Rossini. The ending, many the ending that many around the league knew would happen. The San Francisco 49ers and Brandon Ayuk stay together, a new deal, and the saga ends. What are you talking about? Everyone around the league knew what happened. All we saw were reports for months and weeks about Brandon Ayuk potentially getting traded. He wants to be out. Who's going to be in on it? Who's going to be out on it? I don't know. I thought that one was pretty funny. Everyone already, everyone always knew. We had a feeling, Croc. We were still like over 50%. The last time we did our check, what was it, 55 51% chance? Brandon Ayuk back. Um, after yesterday... That's when I thought, man, this is getting really weird. And uh, I think there might have to be some fines levied down. And I wonder if that was the final thing. It was like, look, here's a good offer. We're going to start fining you if you're not back. And I, you finally accept the deal. 30 mil per year. That's a good deal. That's where it should be. Right? Trump? 30. That, that's where. So he got more. So the thing that makes me a little, it's like, y'all couldn't have got this done earlier. Then we had, we had to deal with all this. But this they got it done. That's all that matters. They, they got it done. He But, hey, he played hardball, and he got a much higher number than anyone expected. From uh, 30 the, was kind of the ceiling for him. 30, 30 mil per uh, year. From yeah. the Niners? From the Niners. That was the ceiling. He, he's not a free agent. I thought the ceiling from the 49ers was 27 and a half from the Niners? Mm-hmm. I wonder if, I, I guess, I want to know now, does this at all change the way that he's used? Or does that kind of tell us kind of some plans moving forward 
with him where, you know, hey, you, you know, eventually he will have to be a bigger part of office. That was your whole thing. But you're like, gosh, you know, I, I think they would be thinking, well, you know, eventually CMC is not going to quite be CMC. And, and you know, Debo, we'll, we'll see. But you, you need him to be a big part of this offense moving forward and paying him upwards, you know, 30 million per year. I feel like that says, yeah, like we're, we're all in on him. Are they going to utilize him a little different? Uh, but uh, that that's a bigger number than I think most people expected. And I will say now for anybody that complained about him holding down the stuff for him to get that number, 100% justified, 100% justified to do what he did. Uh, you could, you could you could say I wish it would have been a little bit less public and weird about uh, you know the 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 holding in and hanging around and, and being weird about things and I know the 49ers didn't love that aspect of it but as far as Brandon Ayuk and his value to the team it's big it's 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 even higher in 2025 2026 than it is right now and that's sort of what it's always been all along all off season long we've talked about even into last year we talked about what's the plan with the 49ers it's like man okay Brandon Ayuk's 26 years old he's the one you want to sign long term he is the true wide receiver outside wide receiver and he is Brock Purdy's favorite target in the passing game that doesn't mean he's the most important guy right now versus Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel and they feed them the ball in a very different way but looking forward with the age of George Kittle with Debo Samuel, how he's hard on his body, how he's a couple of years older. The player that makes the most sense going forward to pair with Brock Purdy long term has always been Brandon Ayuk. And so that's why Brandon Ayuk on a four year deal makes so much more sense because he's going to have to be he's going to have to grow from being the number three, number four option to the number two option to the number one option by 2026 when there's no Christian McCaffrey. There's no and who knows how long Christian McCaffrey is going to play. I always expect running backs careers are going to end quickly, but if maybe this means now Debo's the one that's going to go at some point soon. Can they figure out a way to keep Debo around for one more year or do they trade him next offseason? That's going to be the next thing is Debo watch. Do they trade him next offseason? Teams are going to come calling. Um, can they fit them both in for one more year through 2025? But I think 2026 and beyond, BA might have to be the number one option in the offense. Maybe, and what I envision for the 49ers is that Christian McCaffrey transitions into the Debo wide back role and you use him more and more as a receiver and less and less as a a hammer running back. And that, that would elongate his career. That would, um, I think, add to his value and what he can bring to the team for longer. But I don't think you necessarily have to say Debo Samuel's gone immediately, but that is going to be a conversation next offseason. And the 49ers have some cap space. They probably even created a little bit more cap space with this deal to roll over into next year, maybe created a little bit more space to maybe this deal actually helps the 49ers get a deal done with Trent Williams. So Trent Williams is next. Can they get him done? I think that'll go a long way to flipping the vibes, but it does feel good that this is done. And hopefully there's no weird long lasting feelings with Brandon Ayuk and, and Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers. Cause there have been some pretty public reports that maybe the sides aren't very happy with each other, but the deal is done. So clearly Brandon Ayuk wanted to be around. And now he is going to be around for the next four years. I think I think all will be good. I think he'll walk into there. I think Kyle Shannon will tell him, dude, you've been a pain in the ass, but let's go win the Super Bowl. And I think everybody will be okay. The long national nightmare is over, Croc. It's a done deal. Brandon Ayuk is back. Over, under, 11 and a half wins. Go. Over. Over. All right. Vibes are back. Brandon Ayuk is back. Thanks, everybody, for making us your first listen here on the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Make sure you're subscribed on YouTube and everywhere you get your podcasts. Croc and I back next time right here. Locked On 49ers.